Okay, so we're going to look at some ways of animating digitally and we're going to look at some of the tools involved for it. Um, now the first thing we're going to look at is setting the onion skin. In order to use onion skin you need to go to the preferences. To go to onion skin, you need to turn onion skin on. Then you have a couple of options. The first one is paper thickness which will affect how strongly the onion skin shows in the screen. Then we have choices for previous frame and following frame colors. I will stick with the standard red and green for those. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new level. I'm just going to name it. I'm going to make it 24 frames. I'm going to turn the step into two, so it's going to do repeat each drawing for two frames, and then I'm going to increment it by two, so it will only create every second drawing. Then I am just going to change it to a raster level, and I am going to apply it. And what I will do next is I will just remove these frames and do an initial draw. Okay, next I will go and get the central frame, the middle frame which will be number 13 and I'm just going to drag that on and just activate the onion skin by right clicking on the screen to get the onion skin and I'll just draw our second frame. Then just move that down and we will get our next frame between those and we'll just drag that on and just going to turn onion skin off and show you another feature which is shift and trace. It's under view, shift and trace. Click on shift and trace. We will get we will get see the drawings before and after the current drawing. And if we go and click on edit shift, we can move those drawings around. Also rotate them by using these handles over here and that can be very useful when trying to keep drawings on model and keep the volume correct when doing traditional animation. So I'll just reset that and we'll just shift this top one down to say about there. Closer to the top because the ball will be gathering momentum as it falls and then just make sure we are on the right and we can just trace that drawing. Then we can check our playback. Okay, Let's see if we're happy. Just turn off shift and trace. Then we can get we get to onion skinning. Now there are quite a lot of possibilities for onion skinning um, and most of the onion skinning, well the best way to control onion skinning is through the level strip. So if we click on a drawing we will see that there are two semicircles, one above and one below and these can be used to control what is onion skinned. You also see a line here with two dots and if I 
hover my mouse next to those dots, you will see another dot appears. If we click on those dots, they will disappear. Um, and those dots show which frame is onion skinned. So if I click here and drag, I can drag multiple frames to be onion skinned. Same at the bottom. If I click on those dots, I can remove whichever frames I choose from the onion skin. But there is another way to onion skin, which you can choose exactly which frames you want to see. So in this case, I am going to want to be working from drawing number seven, and I'm only going to want to see drawing seven and one. So if I go on the dot closer to the viewport, I will add that drawing only to the onion skin and the same thing over here and then I can choose which drawings I am going to onion skin and I can have quite a lot of control over exactly which frames are onion skinned. With these various options. Send it. Then I will just choose to take drawing nineteen. Sent.
ground. Drag and drop the limbs fifteen to twenty three. Yep, just reframe these, and I should have my bounce. And if I select all of these, I can click on repeat and I will just repeat it five times and we now have the classic bouncing ball.